Alright guys, so first thing is uh, jack your mower up. I use my jungle jack just because I like it. I put the little safety kick stand down as you can see. So and then take your wheels off because it just makes it a lot easier to get to the, uh, the filter. And I use my rigid half inch impact. Obviously y'all know I love that. It's great. Um, makes everything faster. And uh, then after that, um, you can see time lapse here. Remove this cover um, and the uh, tr try to clean around it. And uh, this uh, oil filter tool is too big, so you have to use pliers, which my pliers aren't quite big enough. But you see, I kind of damage the filter as I take it off because it's the only way you have to kind of grip it kind of hard. But who cares, you know, right? It's the old one you're about to throw away, so that's what I use. If you had a little bit even more bigger pliers, that would be better. All right, now I'm just showing you put it on, making sure the rim is perfectly clean, put a little oil, put it hand tight, and then wait a second, then grip it down as tight as you can with your hand. Went outside, knocked out the cover. Sorry, that part's a little too fast, but <laughs> anyway, put the cover back on. All right, guys, you can see that plug right there. So you can't see it once I put my hand right here, but it's a 11 sixteenths plug. It's in the top of the transmission. It's not very, you use a 11 sixteenths rinse as you, as you see me. And it's not very tight. And uh, take that out. That's the next thing. Alright guys. Next thing you're going to do is fill up your reservoir um, until it comes out of that, until you start seeing oil come out of that little plug that you just took out underneath on the side of the transmission. When you start seeing oil come out of there, then you're gonna put that plug back in and fill it up to the correct amount. It should take about 1.89 quarts, so almost two quarts. And then I'll be, I'm gonna do the same process on the other side, and then I'll come back when we do the bleeding process. All right guys, as you can see, once you get those two quarts, uh, mine takes 2050 oil, but once you get those two quarts in and you wait till it starts coming out of that uh, Wait till the oil starts coming out of that plug hole, but the be ready because it does uh, Starts coming out fast as you can see that was only for like Three seconds when I realized it was coming out and I had to hurry up and put the plug back in there So just be ready. I should have had that uh, oil container under here, but I just didn't you know, like I said, I couldn't get it fast enough I did I thought it would just be coming out slow, but it came out as you can see a lot so I wasted some So just be ready for that All right guys, so here's how you do The uh, The purging of the system right now you see that slot right here goes down so my hydro is in the bypass position when the motors running it just stays between there and there just kind of rides right there so i'm gonna do the other side let's start it up or so all right let's do it so this is how you start the process you have both your transmissions in neutral you start it up i started the motor up and then remembered oh crap i didn't i didn't unlock the one on that side so then i get off and i undo that side thankfully i didn't press the levers back or forth yet but anyway it's always something you forget, right? Um, but anyway, so I'm back on now. They're both in the right spot. Um, the manual says to, uh, once you start it up, to put the levers all the way forward and backward like six times. Um, you know, undo the parking brake, obviously, and you're going to put them back five or six times, which they won't move right now because they're in the neutral position. Um, and so you're going to move those back. Back and forth five or six times. You're gonna do that, um, and then you you're gonna do that, and then you're gonna switch it and put them put the transmissions both in the drive position and do that for six times too, and then you're gonna drive it outside. And um, I had talked about you know at the end of this video that I need to add some fluid, but actually when I took the caps off, they're both at the perfect level because once I put the two quarts in, it was above the full mark, you know. A little bit and then once I ran the mower I, like I think it's perfect perfect spot so 
Um, so if you guys do right at two quarts, I mean, it'll be perfect. Um, you know, so, so anyway, so that's, that's what's going on. So now I won't make a watch all six, six, uh, strokes with the, with the transmission going forward, but that's what I'm doing about to do right now. Um, and then, you know, so I did that, didn't want to make a watch the whole thing. Then I'm just, with the motor still running, I'm just checking to make sure there's no leaks or anything. Um, then I'll turn the motor off, and then now we're going to put the wheels back on so that we can um, drive it outside and test it. And um, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to put these on here, and then I'm going to put the lug nuts on, kind of hand tight, get them all started. That way you make sure they ain't cross stripped or anything like that. Then you're going to use your impact gun, tighten them in a cross pattern evenly. Y'all know how to do that, just like a car lug or something like that. Um, and then we're going to drive it outside real fast motion. It's going to be real fast coming up. The socket keeps falling off of the extension because it's not really made for this, but anyway so we're going right now i think right now yep I'm gonna undo the jack my jungle jack and uh run, went out one dog ran one dog stayed there all right boys then you need to check your uh your hydro reservoirs it looks like mine are both don't have hardly anything in them so probably need to add just a tad more in both of those and then i got a lot of mess to clean up as you can see oil on the ground put up all my tools and my oil thing and that's about all there is to it so you guys can do it if i can do it you can do it my dealer charges 160 dollars to do that so sweet we're good for another 400 hours it's only my more the manual says you only have to do it every 400 hours but after the first 100 hours you know you need to change it so I'm going to top that off, clean up, and enjoy the rest of my day. Saturday, I did a huge um, pruning job and all that. I just got that done. So, anyway, see ya. All right, boys. Brand new wheel on the turf tracer here on the deck. And this thing's sweet. I'm sure this will help, too. So, 